All right, guys, Tony here, and I'm with Oz, and Oz has got a brand new product out, and it's called SEO Resurrection. Now, SEO Resurrection is a, a five-day challenge for ranking your YouTube videos on the first page of Google. Now, there are some nuances when you want to rank YouTube videos on Google, and Oz has been doing a deep dive into it. He's been testing stuff, and he's come up with this challenge so that you can benefit from that, and you'll be able to rank your videos in the first page of Google while other people are starting to struggle quite a lot now because some of the changes that Google algorithm has for the video rankings. Okay, so Oz, I'm just going to pass it over to you now so you can get into your presentation and right. uh, we can talk on the other side. Yeah, th thanks a lot, Tony, for having me. Yeah, um, like Tony just mentioned, I've got a brand new product called SEO Resurrection and the focus for the five-day challenge is YouTube videos, but I believe that this strategy can actually work for um, textual content, although I've not done a deep dive into that yet, but that is something that is on the cards. And it's actually based on a concept I discovered kind of by accident, and I've called it the penicillin pentagon, as you can see on the screen, because it's actually based on the process used by the pharmaceutical industry to develop new drugs like penicillin you know back um, i think it was in 1870 or so so what i'll do um, over the next few minutes is basically go over this concept and then the five-day challenge as well so you can see what it's about so what this does is allow you to rank pretty high volume keywords that have good commercial intent and by this, I'm not talking about those long tail keywords that have search volume of less than 100 searches a month or 20 searches a month. These are high volume keywords, which you will see a few examples of on the next um, slide. Yeah, so this is not about long tail, which virtually anybody can rank. So here's one example. OK, keyword number one, I have I don't know how many keywords I'll be showing you um, today, but keyword number one has 165,000 searches per month. CPC of over five dollars. Okay, and by using this penicillin uh, strategy um, or penicillin pentagon strategy, um, it's been able to rank number four on page one of Google. And page um, number four is actually the top half of page one. And really, the the goal here is to be able to rank in the top half of page one of Google. So not just on page one, but the top half top half of page one. And I call that page zero. Because when you're in the top half of page one, you get a lot more clicks than when you're in the bottom half. So this is one um, example. And this is the keyword in the Google Keyword Planner. So you can see there that this is actually real stuff based on real data. I've blacked out the keywords because I don't want everybody going to target the same um, keywords. But during the challenge, we show you, we reveal what the keywords are and also show you how to find your own keywords. So that is 165,000 over $5 CPC. And here's another one over. 200,000. It's actually meant to be 201,000. Yeah, not 200,000, 100. So 201,000 searches per month. CPC of over $5. Once again, ranking in the top half of Google at number four. And there it is um, in the Google Keyword Plan. And as you can see, it's 201,000. I just had a typo, which I need to correct. Okay. And then the third one here, $11 CPC and um, lower volume but over 18,000 searches per month and this is ranking number three on page one of google so as you can see all these are ranking in the top five of page one of google so that is these are the kind of keywords that we are targeting and if you've been um involved in seo for any length of time like um tony and myself have been you know that once upon a time say b before 2013 2012 you could basically rank for any kind of keyword um, in Google in under 30 days or less if you knew what you were doing. And back then, SEO was pretty simple. And, and we used what I call the one size fit all um, strategy for SEO. So you, you would use the same strategy regardless of how many searches that keyword had. You could have 200,000 searches, like one of the keywords I just showed you, or you could just have 50 searches but you would use the same strategy to rank those keywords on Google. But that doesn't work anymore because the Google algorithm has become a lot smarter than it used to be back then. 
And right now, if you want to use what I, what, um, this one size fit all strategy or what I call the traditional SEO strategy, you will only be able to rank about 1% of the keywords on page one of Google within three months. So this is within 90 days. Yeah, 1% of all the keywords out there. And usually it is the long tail keywords. And that is why of that 1%, only about 1% of that 1% would have decent search volume. And for this, I would say more than say a thousand searches a month. That is what I would call decent search volume. Yeah. So 1% of 1%. And then of that 1% of 1%, only 1% of that 1% of 1% would have any commercial value yeah so what this means really is when you do out the maths one percent of one percent of one percent really means that only about one in a million keywords okay have decent search volume have um commercial serious commercial intent and can be ranked on page one of google within three months using these traditional seo techniques and that is why a lot of people believe that seo doesn't work any longer and have moved away from SEO. Yeah. And this is basically like um, a graphical illustration of what I've just told you. Yeah. 1% page one rankings, 1% of 1% with decent search volume, and then 1% of 1% of 1% with uh, serious commercial intent. So if you want to use SEO to make money these days, then only you can only really have success with one out of a million keywords out there in the universe. Okay, and then that is when um, I kind of like discover the penicillin pentagon, and it's a five step process used to um, develop drugs in the pharmaceutical industry. And the first step is where they actually identify what the disease is because they're different diseases, yeah, and then they isolate the germ. So, this would be the bacteria or virus that causes the disease. And then they would analyze that germ to find out what its characteristics um, are. And then use that analysis to do what they call drug differentiation, where they create drugs, test them, and all that kind of stuff. And then finally, to make money, they need to distribute the drugs. So this, this final step is actually the monetization. And it is really something that we've built into the SEO resur resurrection strategy because monetization is part and parcel of the strategy. So it's kind of like inbuilt. So basically, this is what I've just said already that back in the early days, Google processed all keywords exactly the same way. There was no differentiation at all. And you could rank for a keyword in the sports niche that had a million searches the same way you would rank for a keyword in, say, the health niche that had only 300 searches or 50 searches. Same thing with the CPC. It didn't matter if the CPC was $1 or less or $25 or more. You could use that same one size fit all strategy. But all that has changed, okay? That is no longer possible. But um, with this penicillin pentagon, which for SEO, I call the page zero infiltration pentagon, yeah? Because penic penicillin is a drug. But specific to SEO, I've basically called it the page zero infiltration. And it has five steps which um, I'm going to um, show you very quickly. But just as an analogy, and to show you why this works so well, okay? Now, penicillin works very well for treating specific types of bacteria, but it doesn't work for all diseases, yeah? And in the same way, page zero infiltration works for ranking specific types of keywords that have been isolated, yeah? But it doesn't work for every single keyword out there, just like penicillin does not work for every single disease. And the problem with the one size fits all um, SEO strategy is that it tries to rank all keywords the same way, but that doesn't work. But with consumer infiltration, when you identify the keywords that it works for, it works very, very well and very, very quickly. Yeah. So what is page zero? Uh, what is page zero? Basically, like I said at the start, it's basically those top five rankings on page one. And, and we call those page zero. And then the rest of page one is your typical and um, page one. But we prefer to rank um, in the top half. And this is another um, keyword example. So um, 90,000 searches per month. 
and eight dollar cpc this one is number seven on page one so it's in the bottom half of page one and hasn't infiltrated yet onto page zero and for many people they would you know be more than happy to rank number seven for this keyword but for us we would like to push it higher to number five or above but this was just one example that hasn't quite hit that page zero yet and there it is in the google keyword planner okay so the five steps applied so what i'm going to do quickly next is basically go through these five steps specifically for seo so on the left we have the generic penicillin pentagon and then on the right we have we have it basically modified for seo so we have model identification right, where you um, basically identify the business model that you will use to monetize your rankings and then you isolate the keywords that the strategy works for and then you analyze the keywords like the search volume the um the click um the cost per click and then you do the content differentiation this is where you create the content that google loves to rank on page one and then you do the content monetization which corresponds to the distribution of the drug so basically you're um, distributing your content by ranking it on page one or page zero of google so the first step is model identification okay and basically this is where you're going to identify the business model that you will use to monetize your rankings okay and remember that this does not work for all keywords neither does it work for all business models so this is a very very important step of the process yeah then we go to keyword um, isolation and this is where you leverage the fact that the algorithm now treats all keywords differently okay so when you're able to zoom into a keyword or a group of keywords that google treats in a way that you could actually leverage and um, take advantage of then you're on to a winner because then you can actually have three or four rankings on page one of google in the top half of page one of google all right that is the kind of stuff that is possible because you have like a blue ocean with very little um, competition and then the third step is the keyword analysis and like i said this is where you you know analyze the search volume the cpc and the competition and with um, this page zero infiltration competition is not that important because when you give google what it's looking for okay for the keywords that you've isolated google, google kind of like has no choice but to rank your content on page zero because what you're going to be doing is helping google yeah make money for its shareholders and that is why google is in business okay it's not about rankings or whatever they're there to make money for their shareholders then with content differentiation this is where you basically create the content and optimize it okay so that google falls in love with it and bear in mind that google is no longer using a one-size-fits-all um, approach so the way you differentiate your content for one keyword could be very different from the way you do it for another keyword and that's why we've used the term differentiation there because you won't do um, the content um, optimization the same way you would for every keyword and then finally we have the content monetization this is where you turn your page zero rankings into profits okay and um, using different strategies and like i said this is all built in so this will be specific to the model that you identify in step one so the content monetization strategy you use will will vary from model to model it won't always be the same so these are the five steps in a quick nutshell okay so what we what we have um or what we've created is a five-day challenge to help you work with you to basically leverage these five steps and rank in the top half of page one of google in record time using um using youtube videos and with time i'm sure we could also use this for other kinds of content because it's the same concept that applies overall so day one is page zero infiltration unveiled that is where i'll reveal all the keywords and more and re really show you the power of the strategy and what is um, what is in stock for you then day two we go over the perfect business model for leveraging um, the page zero infiltration because there are a number of 
um, business models out there. But if you really want to make profits quickly, then there's one specific business model that works best. And then when you get more comfortable and confident, you could now try other business models. And then day three, this is where we're doing the keyword isolation and the keyword analysis by identifying and isolating those keywords, okay, that will enable you feed Google's greed by helping them make more money for their shareholders. And once you do that, then you will rank on page zero. Then day four is about content differentiation, creating the kind of content for that specific keyword that you isolated, okay? You create the content that would, that would make Google fall in love and rank it in the top half of page one of Google. And then day five is about monetizing your page zero um, rankings. I missed that out, okay? You monetize your page zero rankings. So that is it really. So it kind of like corresponds with the five steps of the of the Pentagon that I just shared with you, okay? So this is this has been like a quick overview and there's a lot more detail um, that I can cover, but I didn't want to stay too long during this presentation. So, so that is it, more or less, Tony. I don't know if you have any questions now. Or you oh yeah, I met I met some some notes. It's, it's really okay. interesting because um, the way you've laid it out is, is is very interesting as well because it makes it's a visual that people can actually see what's what's happening exactly. there. Those um, keywords that you showed: one hundred sixty-five thousand search volume, two hundred one thousand search volume, eighteen thousand one hundred um, search volume. They're all on the top. Um, above the fold on page one yeah um, or the top half of page one and those commercial intent keywords those ones? yes yeah because you could see the cpc most of them had cpc of above five dollars uh -huh. and for, and for many of them they had like um three ads in fact one of them i don't know if it's one of the ones i showed has um, seven ads on page one so it has mm -hmm. four above the fold that is you know at, at the top of page one then it has three more at the bottom of page one so people are actually paying eight dollars five dollars for these keyword uh, rankings so definitely a lot, cool. of, yeah, a lot of um commercial intent very cool um and also you said it doesn't take too long to rank how, how long approximately did it take you to rank one of these keywords well i, I would say exp um give it 14 days but as you know okay. with, with youtube depending on how things play out it could actually happen in 24 hours or less yeah, but I'm yeah. not promising that. I'm yeah, promising yeah, yeah, I understand. But yeah. there have been cases where, yeah, you'd appear on page one in, in 14, uh, in 24 hours. Just depends on what else is there, okay, and what is happening on Google at the time. But 14 days or more is like a reasonable expectation if you do if you do everything right, okay? Right, okay. And when people are looking at this visual, they're probably wondering, well, how much work is it going to take me to create this system? each time I've got a new video, et cetera. What, what would, what's the sort of, um, how, long, how long would it take to do, to do the system from start to finish? Well, well it, I wouldn't say that it's like, it's like a cl click button approach. There is a bit of work involved, but if you, if you took time out, you could do most of the work in one day, right. okay? And there are actually tools out there, AI tools that we share where you, because someone like me, I hate doing videos, recording right. videos because of the editing and all that kind of stuff. There are now tools out there, okay, that make it really simple, where um, making a video is almost as simple as writing an article. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't take much time if you're willing to leverage new technology. Someone like uh, me, I still use, you know, Camtasia, which is kind of like difficult, but there, there are tools out there that I want to start leveraging myself that make recording videos almost as simple as Right, not yeah, there's some, there's some fantastic tools out there now yeah. that can make videos like just just from someone else's article. They can exactly. Make plus, plus, yeah. Plus, you can also outsource on um, yeah. Fiverr yeah. and stuff like that if you don't like yeah. videos. So, yeah, it does it does involve. So, it, and that is that is also another reason why it works so well because a lot of people hear videos and they think, oh, videos are hard work, and then they do not do it. But for the few people who are willing to try it, okay, there's much less competition than if you're just trying to rank your website because everybody can, you know, write text, can write an article and um, try to rank it. But with videos, a lot of people shy away from videos. But these days, it's actually much easier to create videos than it used to be. Okay. And when you're looking at this system, is this system 
better suited to something like e-com or affiliate marketing or what what would you say there's a lot of people probably got that question in, in the mind right now um i would say it works very very well for affiliate marketing okay um would it work for e-commerce yes it actually works for e-commerce but i'm not an e-commerce person so yeah. i cannot give you any i, I don't teach e-commerce yeah but i i i in fact, i think we have some examples of it being used for e-commerce uh, but if people want to use it for e-commerce they might need to get some more help guidance from other people because i'm not an e-commerce guru so sure, say, sure. yeah okay and you mentioned a couple of times keywords like the isolation keywords and the keyword analysis and you mentioned as well like keyword groups of keywords i'm guessing that you mean like um close variants of um a sort of parent topic keyword that you're talking about yeah yes more or less so you'd have like a root keyword and then you'd have maybe like you know longer tail versions of that keyword, yeah yeah so to say. Okay. But, when I, but when i say longer tail versions it's not like the long tail versions where they have like 10 searches a month these are you know variants that would have over a thousand searches a month or hundreds yeah. of searches a month depending yes yeah, so that's what i mean by keyword groups and keyword types yeah and the reason i'm asking is because i'm trying to figure out what kind of bonus i can offer for this the keywords okay. pick my interest because we've got tools um like tripkit the vid optimizer within tripkit that would be probably really really good for this it would help people to be able to get those keywords and and be able to use them within um, a, a piece of content that made sense and, and you could optimize it right there in the software to be able to use it um, for your optimization. Now, when you're doing the SEO, are, are you focused more on the on-page SEO or, or are you doing backlinks or um, what, it's mostly It's mostly on-page, but there is a bit of, um, should I say, pseudo backlinks. So okay. um, not, not external backlinks. Um, these are things like, you know, w when you do your um, video series and things like that. Okay. okay. And, and, they, and, and, they, and they point to each other, yeah. So, so it's very minimal um, backlinking, but it's mostly video it's, series. It's mostly on page and on video because Google okay. is able to analyze, you know, your text and your audio in the videos. So we also yeah. do optimization within the video itself. All right. Very, very cool. Okay. Yeah. So, um, guys, I, I haven't seen the course yet. Um, I, I know that our stuff is always. Um, very, very high quality. I'm actually looking forward to, to seeing this myself. I want to um, get into it myself. But what I will do though is um, I will put a really good bonus together for this. It will probably involve um, something from TubeKit because in TubeKit we have tools like the video series tool. And, and Oz has mentioned you need to do okay. some video series links and stuff like that. That yeah. automates that part for you, okay? That makes it just so much easy and the good thing about that particular tool as well is that if you add more videos in the series later it literally takes two clicks to update for all the videos in the series once you've done it the first time and even when you're doing it the first time it takes not longer than five minutes to, to set up a video series so um that tool was perfect for this and plus some of the keyword tools that we got within um tripkit so we will be offering something from tripkit and it will be um of equivalent value to um, the price points that Oz is offering this um, five-day challenge for. Um, one more thing, Oz, about the, the challenge is, is this live, um, like webinars or workshops, or is it recorded? They're already recorded and videos. Um, okay. They're already okay. in place, yeah. Um, okay. And, and talking about your bonuses, um, that, that's really, really generous of you, um, Tony. And what I think I would do to match that is, if you let me know what tools you're going to offer as a bonus, then I'll basically go through them and maybe record some bonus videos showing how sure. to use them with the strategy. Perfect. So that becomes a win-win. They don't just have yeah. the tool, but we also show them how to use it or how yeah, to- Yeah, within the system, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Within the strategy, yeah, for the strategy. Nice, nice. Okay, and what is the price point for, for this? And on how quickly they act, they could get it for less than $100. Right. But, but that is at a steep discount because I'm trying to get um, testimonials and case studies. So, yeah. so the price will be, go, uh, will be going up. Okay, very, very cool. All right, guys. So there's a good opportunity there. You can get this for less than 100 bucks and plus you will get some really good tools um, as bonuses. Even better, Oz will take those tools and he will tell you how to use those tools within his system. Okay, so that gives you not just you know the tools themselves but you actually have a system how it will fit into this system so if you really want to learn how to rank your youtube videos in the top half of page one of google 
then this is for you. Okay, this is really good. I'm actually excited about this because I want to learn it myself. And um, I know it's going to be something good because all this stuff is always consistently high quality. All right, Oz, well, thank you for, for coming in and um, I'm looking forward to this. So I'll pass those those tools over to you so you can okay, um, carry okay. and, and put those videos together for how to use them within the system. Oh, and so brilliant. they can rank videos, top half of Google, um, page one, plus the bonus tools and offer yep. under 100, 100 bucks. Yeah, off under hundred bucks. Yeah, and and, and, that, that is, and and that is really and one thing about the price point is like for instance on this page now, and when you think about it, for uh, if you were to do um, paid advertising um, to Google, which is what Google actually want people to do because that's how they make money with a hundred bucks. Okay, for this keyword, you would only be able to get nine clicks because you're paying eleven dollars per click. Yeah. So yeah. you can only get nine clicks with this, but for hundred bucks, once you learn this strategy, you can get, you know, hundreds of clicks for for virtually free. So 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 this is serious um, value for money um, in terms of what you get because you're basically learning how to get your clicks for free, and you won't have yeah. to pay for them. Not, not just that is when you when you start to get traffic from Google, okay, then that's traffic coming from outside of YouTube into. YouTube and that triggers some algorithms as well within YouTube. Now, YouTube have got um, internal algorithms for suggested video and they've also got algorithms for the amount of watch time and also they've got algorithms for um, just basically the session time of people who come into YouTube from your videos, for example, even if they're watching other people's videos. So there's a lot of knock on benefits from ranking page one of Google. And once you get um, people um, coming into YouTube, once you start to trigger those algorithms, there's a whole bunch of traffic to be found in YouTube as well, especially from the suggested video algorithm. There's a lot of traffic there, serious amounts of traffic. Um, and, you know, if you if you can put this system to use in, in a way that is consistently going to get you into page one of Google and get that traffic coming from Google, you will try to trigger those algorithms as long as, you know, you're doing things correctly. So yeah, you, you can get a lot of benefits long term. It's, it's it's organic, so it's long term. Yeah, you you know it. Uh, you know it, Tony, because that is how you help Google make money for their shareholders by going from yeah. um, Google to YouTube and getting people to watch other videos. Because when they do that and they now show their ads to these people that have come from Google, that is how they make money for their shareholders. And when you trigger those algorithms that suggest to or let Google know that you're helping them make money. And that is when they basically push your videos to page zero, to the top half, to the top half, top half of page one, because nice. most people do not do that for them. Okay, so when Google's when Google finds videos that are helping them make money, they push them to the top half of page one and keep them there for years. Yeah, absolutely for, for ages. So so yeah yeah you nailed it. That is how it works. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. Um... I'll put the the bonus information um, underneath this video and also in an email when I'm um, sending a promotion. So if you're watching this today, it's actually on StreamYard. If you're watching this today, then we will be promoting this um, from tomorrow onwards, okay? So it's gonna be a three-day promotion. You need to purchase within those three days to be able to claim your bonuses, okay? And after the three days, the bonuses are gone. So I would, I would, advise you to um, act quickly and grab this while it's under 100 bucks this, this is very very good and also you get those tools and also you get to know how to use those tools within this exact system system it's a nice nice um, setup all right Oz, thank you very much all right cheers tony